we will move on to the ahadith which we have over here. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Hadith number one. Haddathana al Makiyu ibn Ibrahim. Allah akbarana Abdullah ibn Sa'id. Hu ibn Abi Hindin. An Abi an ibn Abbasin. Radiyallahu anhuma. Kala kala an Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Ni'matani. Maghbunun fihima. Kathirun minan nas. As sihhatu. Wal farahu. Ibn Abbas. Radiyallahu anhuma. Narrated that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there are two blessings that many people are unmindful of, health and free time. Okay, we've covered this first hadith. Now over here, it says the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, but you see what did I read? Ibn Abbas says, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said. Normally, people in translation write, Prophet said, Prophet said. One of my friends in Portugal, Marana Faisal Saad, very nice person, he's Imam in the Laranjiro Masjid. I went there once and he says to me, Marana Saab, there was this young man who reads lots of Salat al Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, he once saw Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam in a dream. And he said, are you the prophet? And he replied, don't say prophet, say Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. There is more respect in saying Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam than saying prophet. So to show that respect, it is better if we also use the word Rasulullah. Because we all know what Rasulullah means, messenger of Allah. So why not use the Arabic word, which is better? And with regards to our Arabic terms, even in translations, we should try and use the Arabic words, like salah, zakah, sadaqah. We don't need to say prayer and charity and almsgiving. So those common words which we all understand, we're all Muslims, we know, we should keep them as they are. So with the translation of the name of the Prophet ﷺ, it would be better just to say Rasulullah ﷺ. It shows more respect. So, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, there are two blessings that many people are unmindful of. Maghboonun is from the root word of it is ghaban. And ghabana yaghbinu ghabanan means a naqs, naqs firrai, deficiency, reduction. So, maghboonun fihi ma kathirun minan nas. Many people are losing out in these two things. They are at a loss. They are losing out. Why are they losing out? Because they are not valuing it. They are not cherishing these two things. And they are suffering a loss uh, in regards to these two things. What are the two things? As-sihhatu wal farahu As-sihhatu, people do not value good health as they should. And when they fall sick, then they cry. But you did not look after yourself. You did not look after yourself when you were healthy. Why cry now? When you were healthy, you should have utilized your free time for good stuff. Now you've become sick. And perhaps you know you're going to go away from here now. Many people, Allah Mahfkari, Allah protect us, perhaps cancer. And then they cry, oh, oh, I wish I would have done this, I wish I would have done that. So don't let yourself get to that stage when you fall ill and you cry over your lost uh, 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 you know, opportunities. Just when you are healthy, you can do things, do it. You can fast, you can pray namaz, you can read Quran, you can do zikr. Do whatever you can. Utilize your good health. Nabi Kareem sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, Iqtanim khamsan qabla khamsin. Shababaka qabla haramik, sihhataka qabla suqmik, faragaka qabla shughlik, hayataka qabla mawtik. That you have to value your youth before you grow old, your good health before you fall sick, your wealth before you become poor, your life before you die, your free time before you get busy. So utilize these 
for the better, for preparation of your akhirat. While you're healthy, do something. Don't waste your uh, life. And well, faragh, free time. If you have free time, don't watch movies. Don't uh, spend your time on social media and useless things. Don't go on TikTok. We had Bayan on TikTok the other day. And TikTok is new. Now Insta and Snapchat have become old now. So uh, don't waste your time on these social websites. Your free time, use it for something good. This is the meaning of the hadith. Two great blessings which people have, people don't value them. They suffer a loss and they are losing out on these two blessings. Number one is good health and number two is free time. Utilize your good health. Utilize your free time for good purposes and Allah will reward you. You will, you will prepare for your akhirat and you will be rewarded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala.